Hi guys, I am Shekwa and I am back with Math XYZ and today we'll still be continuing on trigonometric ratio on, on reduction formulas. Reduction formulas, it enables you to write or express trigonometric ratio in terms of an accurate angle. An accurate angle is an angle which is less than 90 degrees. Alright, uh, when you are dealing with reduction formulas, you must always remind yourself of uh, trigonometric ratios on Cartesian plane. Of which in Cartesian plane, a quick revision guys. Alright, in Cartesian planes you have 0 degrees, 90 degrees then, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and 360 degrees. Alright, um, and in the first one we have all of which we have A which stands for all trigonometric ratios are positive and in the second one we have S which stands for only sign in this quadrant is positive. In the third quadrant we have T which stands for time only is positive in this quadrant and the fourth quadrant we only have cos which is positive. In the first quadrant um, we have writing with a different marker color. We have 90 degrees minus theta and in the second one we have 90 degrees plus theta and the third one we have and also we have 180 minus theta all right so this one we have 180 plus theta 270 minus theta and here we have 270 plus theta and also 360 minus theta and lastly in the first quadrant again we have 360 plus theta all right um Guys, uh, just uh, look at this. You always need this when you are answering question on reduction formulas. So that when you are answering question, you can always refer to your collagen pain and see at which quadrant is which trigonometric ratio is positive. In the first one, all of them are positive. When it's 90 minus theta or when it's 360 plus theta, I mean to say, all trigonometric ratios are positive. That means that psi is positive, time is positive, and also cos is positive when we are looking at 90 minus theta or 360 plus theta. All right, guys, let's do examples on reduction formulas and see how do we approach question on reduction formulas looking at this condition thing. All right, but for now, I'll erase this one because I need space. But with you guys, uh, just copy it down so that when you are uh, when we're doing an example, you can always refer to your collision plane uh, to see how we came about with uh, the answer. All right. We're erasing this. All right. The first example, it says 1 plus... 1 plus uh, 2 sine squared theta, 2 sine squared theta, oh sorry, not theta, sine squared, 360 minus theta, oh guys, sorry, I wrote 86, <laughs> 360 minus theta, divide by uh, cos squared theta into 180 plus theta, I mean to say, 180 plus theta and then multiply by uh, 1 1 divide by tan squared uh, 180 minus theta all right uh, the first one we have 1 plus we won't change the one it's 1 plus and then when we are looking at 2 sine squared we will have 2 uh, sine uh, 360 minus theta all squared again sorry we must have the bigger brackets squared and then divide by right let me use an, an, a different um, another marker and then with this one we have cos into 180 plus theta and all um, all squared all right and then we'll have multiply by uh, one divide by Turn into 180 minus theta and all squared day. We have a squared day. All right, uh, the next step will have one plus sine two, obviously. Uh, 360 minus theta. 360 is in the fourth quadrant, of which only uh, cos is positive in that quadrant. That means that we'll have a uh, negative sine theta but then with a the squared day that will make it a positive sine squared theta then we have two sine squared theta divide by 
because 180 plus theta, 180 plus theta is in the third quadrant of which only time is positive at that quadrant. That means that for this one, we have negative cos theta, but then with a the square there, that would make it a positive cos squared theta. All right, now we have cos squared theta positive, all right? And then with this one here, we'll have one divided by tan uh, 180 minus theta is actually negative tan theta because 180 minus theta is in the third, second quadrant of which only side is positive. But with the square there, we will have a positive uh, tan. We will have a positive tan squared theta. All right, now that we have this, we have a 1 plus uh, 2 sine squared theta divided by uh, cos squared theta multiplied by 1 divided by that. What we do now is we change tan squared theta in terms of sine squared theta and cos squared theta. Then we'll have 1 plus 2 sine squared theta divided by cos squared theta multiplied by, remember tan, 1 divided by tan squared theta is the same as cos squared theta divided by sine squared theta. Then we have this. What we do now from here, we cancel this and that, and we also cancel this and that, and we'll be left with 1 plus 2, of which 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Because this and this cancel out, this and that cancel out, and this and that cancel out. Then we'll have a 1 plus 2, which is equal to 3. All right, I hope you guys understood this question. But then, if you didn't want to uh, change uh, uh, this term in terms of cos squared plus sine squared, divided by the sine squared, what you could have done is from here, you could have actually just said uh, sine squared theta divided by cos squared theta is equal to tan squared theta. That means from here we'll have 1 plus 2 tan squared theta uh, multiplied by 1 divided by tan squared theta, of which the term we're going to cancel out, and you will be still left with 1 plus 2, which will give you 3. All right, uh, there are many ways of <laughs> solving these questions, and I hope uh, you understand this example, guys. All right, let's do another example uh, on reduction formulas. All right, uh, another example. Okay, what we have here is cos. All right, let me use another marker. What we have here is cos squared. Cos squared 180 plus theta. And multiply by sine... 180 minus theta multiplied by tan 180 plus theta. All right, I don't have space there, but this is plus theta. All right, divide by, uh, let me use another marker because this one I can already see that it won't be writing well. And then divide by in the denominator we have sine 360 minus theta multiplied by sine. In the denominator, we have 180 plus theta. All right. And then from here, guys, the first one, remember, we have cos 180 plus theta uh, all squared. We have all squared there. Multiply by 180 minus theta is in the second quadrant, of which sine is positive in the second quadrant. That means that we multiply by sine theta. And then for that one, we have 180 plus theta, of which is positive in the third quadrant. And in that quadrant, tan is positive. That means we multiply by tan theta there. Divide by 360 minus theta is in the fourth quadrant, which in that quadrant only cos is positive. Then for this one, we have negative sine theta. And 180 plus theta is in the quadrant of tan. That means sine is negative. Then we'll have negative sine theta as well. Then from here, the first one, 180 plus theta, is in the uh, third quadrant of which tan is positive at that quadrant. Then that means we have negative cos theta. But with the square there, we'll have a positive cos squared theta. All right, multiply by sine theta, multiply by tan theta. Divide by positive, negative and negative will multiply out and you'll be left with positive. Divide by, that means that sine multiplied by sine, it will give us sine squared theta. 
all right those two uh cos squared theta divided by sine squared theta remember it gives us one divided by tan squared theta then we have one divided by tan squared theta multiplied by tan theta multiplied by uh sine theta all right uh multiplied by sine theta all right from here those will cancel out with that and we'll be left with one divided by tan theta multiplied by sine theta all right remember one divided by tan theta is actually equals to okay let me just continue on this side one divided by tan theta is equals to cos theta divided by sine theta and we have this sine theta that means that multiplied by sine theta all right now that we have this what we do with this one this two cancel out and we'll only be left with cos theta all right uh, i hope you guys also understood this question uh remember when you are dealing with this kind of questions always compare to your Cartesian plane and uh it will make it very easy for you to uh to answer the questions uh if it's not positive just write it uh, like for this one 180 plus theta it's only uh positive when it's turned but if it's any other trig ratio then that means that trig ratio is negative all right guys i hope you understood this lesson if you didn't please uh let us know by writing on the comment note and we'll have a follow-up on it please don't forget to subscribe to math xyz so that you can get daily notification when we upload videos thank you